Hello everyone. Welcome to my online global classroom. Today we are going to discuss how to establish a VPN connection from home computer and after that how to connect to a remote server. Server can be a Unix server or server can be a Windows server. So in this uh, video we are going to show you a, a demo uh, to connect to a, a company the company name is digitalpoint.tech so this is uh, our company and using this demo we will, sh we will use uh, this, the VPN server of digitalpoint.tech so first of all let's discuss what is VPN so VPN stands for virtual private network so private networks so for example and this is a, a digitalpoint.tech as a corporation so Let's assume this is a digital point, and in this digital point, um, in, let's say all the server they have a domain data and some kind of data center, and in that data center they have a VPN server. They have uh, multiple server. Let's say this is called server one, and this server is one is a Windows server. They might have a app one and that app one is running on a Unix server. They might have a, another server called server two or server three and it might be a database server running on a Unix platform. So this is in the real world scenario. Um, uh, the, any, every company have thousands of servers some server sitting down in the data center some server sitting down in the cloud environment right so it's a, it's a we are talking at thousands of thousands of server so most of the corporation they keep their server in a, in a secured location called data center and every company might have uh, multiple data center so let's assume in this case this is the private network of digitalpoint.tech and as a user, let's say I'm sitting down here, I am a user, and my name is Bob. Now it is my home network, right? So this is my home network. So this is also private. So this is the, let's say, private network one, and this is the private network two. So now if I want to establish the connection between these two private networks, they cannot trust each other, they cannot work each other. Yes, so let's say uh, Mr. Bob, if I, I want to log into this server one from my home, I cannot. Whereas if I go to office, so let's say uh, every company has a lot of campus location, right? So this is, let's say in New York, I have a campus. In Toronto, I have another, another campus location. So if I go inside this network, because this Toronto and New York and this data center, they are the same network. So if I go to my to Toronto location and let's say I hook up my laptop here in this campus, I can easily log into the server as long as I have a access. So let's assume I have an access so I can easily log into any server um, that's sitting down in this data center. Similar way, if I go to my New York office and from that campus I can connect to any of this server because these are all on the same network. So, but now let's say I come home, now I have to uh, do some additional type of work. So, or today I'm working from home, how I can connect to this server, how I can connect to my corporate network. So then VPN come to picture. The VPN virtual private network, it is a mechanism by which my home computer network and my computer or dig uh, my digital point dot tech network will be the same network. So we make, you can, you can assume that there might be a, a tunnel between this network and the, uh, my home network uh, using the VPN. So VPN is a mechanism or is a process or a, pro, a methodology by which two dissimilar network become the same network. So, uh, I, so after that it will be assuming that I actually I'm inside the network. So that's, a, so that's why the process is called virtual private. So physically I am not here, virtually I am connected to my network. 
So this is a great innovation and nowadays most of the corporate people work from home so as a as a corporate user i can use let's say i have toronto office new york office i have a um, asia hong kong office japan office i can work from anywhere even i can work from home let's say i travel somewhere and i stay in a hotel i can work from hotel as well so this technology really works great so now question is that how to establish this vpn so every corporation has a VPN server, as you can see in this diagram. So let's assume in, in digital point tech perspective, it is a, we have a VPN server in the name of the VPN server called VPN dot digital point dot tech. So every corporation has the, their own VPN server. I, this is the demo. So just I use. Uh, to show, show you guys some demos why so we, we use this particular URL as a VPN server. So either I can use this um, fully qualified domain name or I can use an IP address. So uh, let's say now this is my home computer or maybe this is my corporate computer. I, br I brought it at home and in most of the cases uh, what they do they, if, if I have a corporate laptop, let's say this laptop provided by, by the company, then they already install a VPN client on my laptop, some kind of VPN client. And this VPN client, like a, for example, Cisco VPN client or some kind of client. So this is a client software. I just open that software, double click that software, and then I have to type three things here. The, what is the VPN server name, right? Server name. So in this case, let's say I type vpn.digitalpoint.tech. This is my server name. Then user ID. Then definitely I have to uh, pass the credential. What is the user ID and what is the password? So when I type this user ID password, my VPN client communicate with the server and servers challenge him. Hey, what is your user ID and password? As long as this user ID password, they negotiate and then the channel is established. And this, the good part is that this channel is an encrypted so this is an encrypted channel meaning is that all the communication from here to here all are encrypted in the middle there will be no hacker or nobody can get my data so that's why it is it is much more secure nowadays okay um but there is another way let's say you work in a smaller company or you have a home computer you you do not have a very uh, professional type of vpn client how you can establish this connection so in that case, uh, Windows actually has a built-in VPN client. Using that VPN client, you can easily connect to any VPN server. So let me show you the demo here. So first of all, if you click here um, on your start button or setting, uh, uh, every company, you know, you have Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, whatever operating system you have. If you type, just type the word called VPN on your search option. You see the, on the top, it will show you set up a virtual private network connection. Or maybe Windows 10, let me see Windows 10, maybe you can type setting. So if you type setting command, it also will tell you some kind of setting. Um, but in this case, as I'm Windows, Windows 7, it's not showing up. So depending on the what operating systems, I think the best way you just type VPN. And then on the top, it will show you the set up a virtual private network connection. So if I open it, and then I can type, let's say my, my server name. So here definitely I type VPN dot digital point dot tech. And then I give a, um, like a friendly name. This is my friendly name. So it's okay, connection to, just so that, connection to a digital point network something like that just friendly user friendly name right network right like that and then I click next and then here is the username and password so let's say let's assume my username is Nizam and I just put a password here what is my password and so this is also corporate people will be provided you 
so it, you don't know this username and password but you if you work in a company or if you want to connect to uh, whoever the provider they will give you this uh, this piece right what is your name what is the password and then um, after that you click connect when you click connect then VPN will be established so let's show in other computer so let's say this is my um, a Windows 10 or Windows uh, some kind of um, Windows 10 family server so here if you click uh, if you right click and click search and then just type VPN so that when I type VPN here you see some type of set up a virtual private network you see that it comes so if I click this button so I think this is the similar way so internet address VPN destination connection and then it shows you how to establish this connection right um, if you use Windows 10 machine uh, nowadays I, I know that everybody using Windows 10 machine so Windows 10 is little the the interface is little different let me show you I think I have a done a document on that so VPN so here you go so in if you use Windows 10 uh, the graphical use uh, interface will be like that so if you click right click on the start button click on setting so there is some kind of setting here and then click the in, in network and internet and then click VPN so when you click the VPN then then you have to click add a VPN connection and then from the drop down menu you type this so basically a Windows 10 machine you, you have to fill up this information look when you click the so this the bottom line is that first you right click the start button then setting and then you will see after type is the network and internet under set so you see there is a setting option here and then when you click the network and internet this is an icon here and then after that you click the VPN and then this type of form will be open for you and then so let you see that VPN provider it is Windows you can click this drop down arrow then connection name this is what most important uh, so you can here as, as, just as the user friendly name digital point dash VPN connection and then server name so server name as I mentioned uh, that there will be three pieces right the VPN uh, server name user ID and password so some digital point tech already give me the server name VPN dot digital point dot tech or maybe the IP address either one so you can see that so you can see that they say server name or address address means IP address the VPN type will be automatic so you can click this drop down arrow and then type of sign in info username and password you can again choose from the drop down and then you can say okay username is let's in this example consultant one and the password so digital point tech already provided username as a consultant one the password and then you click save button so when you click save button and then automatically this will be it will not be connected it will be saved as a, as a connection right so when you um, when you you are right now under under this right under VPN connection so you are there so then when you click click the VPN just you set up and then you click connect button you see there is a connect button when you click connect button it will it will take some time uh, probably let's say maybe 30 second 20 second depending on the time if all the information correct it will tell you connected you'll see a message here called connected if it is something wrong then it will tell you some kind of error message so you can click the advanced option then after advanced option you will see there is an edit option and you see the username and password is correct or not so most of most cases VPN if it doesn't work then you have to see that uh, antivirus may be one of the uh, issue here a lot of cases I found because of antivirus software running on your computer it is um, blocking the port uh, to establish the VPN connection sometimes even ISP provider like a your internet service provider they also make some kind of weird rule so it also doesn't allow you to establish the VPN so if it is works great if it doesn't work then you first will say okay is user ID password is correct or not so if you confirm that user ID password is correct but still it is not working then next option you can say okay what type of antivirus software I have can I uh, disable those antivirus software or maybe for now I just 
uh, if you go to the setting of the antivirus software, uh, there might be a way to, you know, allow this VPN connection. Sometimes also Windows Firewall also causing the issue. You know, the Windows Firewall, if you uh, open your control panel and you notice that every operating system has a kind of firewall. So, this is the Windows Firewall. So, this also sometimes causes the issue. Okay, so if it is worse, okay. I think 80 percent, 90 percent scenario, you will not have any trouble. So, you see that we'll turn on Windows on and off. If you just for troubleshooting purpose, you can turn off Windows Firewall um, and also from the from the local network as well as public network you can turn off both let's say this both option you can turn it off and click ok and see that it helps or not so if it doesn't help then you can say okay can i um, disable for my my internet um, uh, antivirus software is running on my computer and see that it helps or not okay so these are the um, way that um, you establish the VPN connection. Once you are you establish the VPN connection, that means your home computer and your corporate, in this case our corporate means digital point dot tech and my home computer. So the, let's say this is me, Bob. Bob is sitting down here. This is my digital point dot tech. I can, I, the, the tunnel has been established. So now uh, if I open my, my C, C drive, and let's know the or maybe command prompt. If I open type a command here, IP config, I will should see that my corporate provided network IP address, something like that 192.168. So this is the same subnet of digital point dot tech. So now I'm using okay, now I'm re I'm ready to go. So next step, once your VPN is connected, and now message of how to connect a Windows server. So let's say I'm a I'm a software tester or I'm, a, I'm an IT person, or I am a you know, DBA, or I'm a network engineer, or whoever I am, I want to connect to, I need to connect to a server. So let's say my server name, uh, this is, let's assume this is my Unix server. So my Unix server, let's say the IP address 192.168.10. let's say it is 244. So if it is my Unix server, and this is my home laptop, right? VPN already. So the, the prerequisite that VPN must be established, right? Without VPN, I cannot connect to my corporate network, right? So step one, VPN must be established. Then I need some kind of client on my laptop so that, so it is kind of, if it is Unix server, I need a Unix client, like some kind of Unix client to connect to my Unix server. So there are many type of Unix client. The, the the easiest and the best option maybe you can go to the Google and just type download putty p u t t y. So this is a um, very uh, easy and widely used uh, uh, telnet client. So it's a download putty. Click here. And you can download the binary maybe. So depending on the what type of operating system you have, 32-bit versus 64-bit. So here, in my case, I, I actually my computer is 32-bit, so I download 32-bit putty.exe. In your case, it is. So how to know it is 32-bit or 64-bit? So easily you can, if, again, if you go to the command prompt and type set pro, just one command, set pro. It will tell you your computer is 32-bit or 64. Look on the first line here. It says processor underscore architecture equal x86. x86 means it is a 32-bit. Uh, Whereas I have another computer. If I type the same command here, so let's say if I type cmd to go to the command prompt, type set pro, and now you see that it shows me the AMD 64. So that means 64 means it is a 64-bit and 86 means it is a 32 bit okay so as we understand it is a 32 bit so i just click the 32 bit uh, putty.exe double click and it is a very very tiny thin layer software it downloaded right away and as you know that by default all those type of software is downloaded to your download folder right so if you uh, open your download folder just go to your download and you see the party should be here somewhere. So let, 
open the folder here you go so there in my case you know in my computer I have so many files under my download folder this is buddy I right click I can copy I can I can put it on my desktop right I can put it on the desktop so this is my desktop and I can right click and press copy and paste it here right so in my case you know I have already party there that's why he said do you want to replace so I just cancel for now so this way you don't need to search where is your party right and you don't need to you don't need to install it is already uh, it is a exe file and you just download and put it on your desktop so in my case let's say um, if I just type PRT, you can see this is the guy right so I double click this is the Unix client telnet client so now once I open it I type 192 the server name right 192.168 10.244 because as I work in the company I already know what is the IP address of that server right and when I type this IP address and then I click open and you can see it automatically communicate that server and say who are you I said okay well definitely I have a username and password and I write uh, let's say my password uh, whatever password I have Right. Once if the user ID and pass, so he say password is not correct. Let me type again. So it negotiate the password. Here you go. So now I log in as a as a Nizam and the note. This is this is the Unix server, and I'm successfully connect to that server. And if you see the font size is very tiny here. So if you click right click, uh, you can right click on the blue bar here and then go to the um, change setting and then go to the font somewhere uh, appearance window appearance and then under appearance is the change font and you can change the bigger size font so that it will be a little bigger for you click ok and then apply and here you go so you, this is my unix right so now as it is unix you might know some command let's see if i type clear command it will clear the screen if i type host name command it will tell me this is the name of my unix server if I type if config command, it will tell me the IP address of my. You see that this is the server that we logged in, right? So this is a now I am successfully connected to my Unix server. So the good part is that let's say this server maybe 1,000 mile away, maybe 500 mile away, doesn't matter. I can it look like I'm sitting in front of that computer. So now everybody learn how to connect um, to a Unix server from your home computer. Similarly, let's say I have a Windows server. So if I have a Windows Server, how to connect to a Windows Server? So similar, Microsoft has a, as we are using Microsoft operating system, Microsoft also has a utility or client, Microsoft client. And that client called Remote Desktop Connection. So if you click Start and on your search option type MSTSC, MS means Microsoft, TSC means Terminal Service. If you type MSTSC, you see that Remote Desktop Connection opens. It is just exactly just like party. So you to connect to the Unix server, we use party. To connect to the Windows server, we use remote desktop connection utility. And if I so now you see that the server that I'm interested, I connect. I type the server name or IP address, then click connect, and then it will be a challenging me. Hey, who are you? I say okay, I'm administrator. For example, I'm administrator. I type my password. If my user ID and password is connected, I mean it is correct. You see now I log into a a server this is not my computer this is the server that I connect if you minimize this button this is my computer this is my laptop right and this is the server that I just logged in so you see that how beautifully we connect to a Windows server and it's look like I'm so let's say today for whatever reason I cannot go to work I am sitting down at home and now I'm without any issue I just connect to the network and connect working just it's look like I'm sitting in front of that computer right so this is the B2 how uh, how to establish VPN connection and then how to uh, connect to a remote Windows server or remote a Unix server so let's summarize so what do we learn that to connect to a, a remote corporate server or to network first of all I have to establish the VPN without VPN I cannot do that so VPN is a mechanism that my home computer or home network computer and the corporate computer they create a they established a tunnel between this network and this network. So 
this so that means this is a let's say this is a one private network this is another private network these two private network come become one network um, because of this virtual private uh, connection mechanism right because how to establish this connection because corporate has a vpn server i have a vpn client and then using uh, that client i i, I establish the, the this is my server name this is my user id this is my password and as long as they negotiate each other they create an encrypted connection so it's not only connection it is an encrypted connection that means i am secure enough whatever the data i'm connect i'm sending from this computer to this computer you know there is a communication right now right all are encrypted very secure kind of channel here this is one so once my vpn is connected the second thing we know learned right now to connect to the windows server we uh, we connect to a utility called msdsc microsoft terminal service so on my search option if i type, op, type msdsc it opens i type the same thing again server name it will what is your server name that you want to connect and user id and the password as long as all this information i provide corrected and i have access i should be able to connect to that windows server similar way how to connect to the unix machine so i using a uh, client software called putty and then using putty same similar idea I, he will be asked what is the server id what is the user id and what is the password right as long as i provided all those information correctly and i do have an access then i should be connected to the unix system as well just like that okay so hope you guys enjoyed and uh, so practice um, accordingly uh, if you have any concern or question uh, please feel free to email us at admin at digitalpoint.tech. Thank you.